is about. What do you hold to be most important? What are the ultimately important things in life? What's the ultimately important thing in your own life? So one of the things that Islam would say is that truth and justice are centrally important in the lives of human beings. Human beings have a particular tendency towards justice. We seek to act justly, we seek to follow the truth, to seek it out and to go with it. How far are you prepared to go in searching for truth and justice? Hussein was prepared to go all the way. Hussein was prepared to go even to the point of death in a horrible way in order to defend the principles of truth and justice. So if somebody says to you, for the sake of a quiet life, for the sake of a lot of money, for the sake of a beautiful woman, are you prepared to give in to injustice in the world? Are you prepared to say what is untrue is really true? Now Hussein stands on the ground of justice and truth. So what happens is that in 680, he's traveling with a group of his companions. By tradition here, we're talking about 72 men, plus women and children. And they're traveling across the desert toward Iraq, toward Kufa. They are shadowed by the army of this ruling family that's taken over leadership within the community. This army is massive. Again, by tradition, we're saying something like 30,000 soldiers. And they shadow them day by day in their progression. Until it comes to the place called Karbala. And in Karbala, they are surrounded. They can't go forward, they can't go back. Now, Karbala is a place without water. It's a place in the desert. It's the worst place you can imagine that you would want to be stranded. And now comes the question. Do you give in to the forces of injustice, to the forces of falsehood, or are you prepared to stand your ground? And so what happens during these 10 days of the siege at Karbala is that Hussein and his family are tested. Day after day, the testing goes on. They're denied water. People go and try and get water and are killed in the process. The children are obviously crying, no water, no food. So Hussein on one occasion goes out and says to the enemy, look, I know you don't like me, but surely you don't want to take it out on a small baby. Please give water to the children. I'll leave the baby here on the rock. You can give him water later. And the child is shot in Hussein's arms with a bow and arrow. So you can see the tension is building up here day by day until we reach the 10th day. The 10th day is called Ashura day the 10th of the month of Muharram. It's on this day that the massacre takes place. Now you can imagine, 72 men against 30,000. There's no discussion here about what the outcome is going to be. Hussein and his companions are killed. It's a massacre. After they killed them, they desecrate the bodies. So they ride the horses backwards and forwards over the bodies just to smash them. And then they take the women and children away into captivity.